So welcome back to another Delivered Reviewed and this week, obviously as the thumbnail shows, uh, Caesar, but not quite Julius Caesar in terms of a Caesar salad, but we'll explain that later on. So back to Burger King to try their new gourmet Caesar range. So, as I say, welcome back. Hope everyone's doing well. And this week, I thought we would try, which I didn't realise was out, the Gourmet range from Burger King. I think it's about a week back that they brought this out. So, obviously, the Gourmet's been out for a while and they've added this Caesar. So, I can only assume that they're trying to emulate the Caesar salad, which ultimately, just as a Caesar salad in terms of the dressing, is um, lemon juice or lime, olive oil, eggs, egg yolks, Worcester sauce, anchovies, not sure about that, but garlic, Dijon mustard, and palms and cheese with black pepper. And I love it. I love a Caesar salad. Like, it's just that sharp kind of um, sauce, obviously, dressing that you get on it with the palms and cheese that can kind of overrule it a little bit. But it, it, overall, it's got it's got a very unique flavour um, and taste. And as you can see there, the original inventor, Caesar Cardini, which I honestly didn't know. So, <laughs> and I didn't necessarily think in terms of Julius Caesar, but where else did the name come from? But no, no connection whatsoever. So, on to the review. As I say, the Caesar range, which they're doing in the Angus burger as well, and you'll see in a second the loaded fries. I had to try, just for the sake of it, the halloumi fries as well. So, first item to be reviewed, as you can see there, is the halloumi fries, and they were really nice. Um, they've got just about a kind of a, a grilled edge to them, but the uh, silver liner, sorry, foil lining bag, just the moisture just you just kind of went, it's like toast, you know, and just, just goes soggy almost. And halloumi is obviously soft and obviously it is, so it needs a kind of a, a crunch almost on the outside. But again, they were nice. Like, you know, I, I rate them, they were nice. They could have been a little bit bigger, but, you know, the halloumi fries are what they are. I'm pretty sure I've had them before. I'm sort of starting to forget, uh, obviously, with the amount of uh, reviews that I've done now. But on to the loaded Caesar fries. And somebody made a comment that I said too much bacon on. I think it was the chimichurri bacon fries before. And this time, I don't know whether Burger can be listening, but they put far less on. So a little bit more would have been nice. You can kind of just about make out the bacon there. But um, yeah, so that with the Caesar, um, I was going to say salad then, but the Caesar sauce, which is a garlic sauce. So it's not exactly the same, but um, you know, obviously it's got garlic in it, but it's, it's kind of, that's their emphasis. So they didn't kind of list out any other kind of ingredients that they've used. So the loaded fries are pretty nice. Again, they're a little bit soggy with them being loaded. Um, not sure whether I'm kind of into loaded fries or not, or whether just to have like a sauce and, and bacon, whatever on the side and, and kind of dip, you know, in terms of crispy fries, I think probably a little bit nicer. I don't know. They're a novelty at the end of the day. So as you can see there, what was ordered and, um, Overall, things were pretty good from Burger King. I'm not ever saying Burger King is bad, but what you'll see in a second is the comparison of what they advertise, marketing, to what you actually get. And it's a, it's a million miles off. I mean, you wouldn't even know you were buying the same burger, but unfortunately, as you'll see in a second, just about now, reality versus advertised. And advertised looks absolutely amazing, obviously, because they want you to come in and buy it. But when you get that, and it's like, okay, bacon, you've got the sauce, you've got rocket, you've got some sort of what appears to be cheese, but God knows when it was put in today or last week in terms of yesterday. And again, the same underneath with bacon bits. And I don't know whether it had like fried onions or someone had mistakenly put fried onions on it, but as far as I understood it, it didn't have fried onions on it. So from the website um, is a tender crispy chicken breast perfectly paired with a Caesar style garlic mayo made with 100% chicken breast as I say so I don't think it had um, crispy fried onions on but I'm pretty sure it had them on the bottom so I don't know but the burger itself you know there was when you look at it there there's more bun than there is filling which is it's always got to be kind of the wrong way around maybe similar size bun to the contents but the fillet wasn't particularly big they could have done with being a, a nice decent fillet as per the advertised but the caesar dressing which is the point um 
wasn't really, you, you couldn't really taste it that much. It was kind of very sort of dull in the background. It could do with probably adding a bit more lemon juice, maybe a little bit more garlic, uh, maybe a bit more black pepper, but it was a nice sauce. Um, and I kind of tried it as in separately, kind of just dipped my finger into it. It, it wasn't anything near a, a Caesar salad. So just, you know, it is what it is. It's a nice burger from Burger King and I'm not saying it was it was it was brilliant, but I think the rating that you'll see in a second kind of reflects that. So 6.5, 7, and Halloumi Fries 8.5. I appreciate all the subscribes. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe and hopefully we'll get something new and on to next week.